in this video we are going to use stack overflow developer survey results data uh, already they have done that for 2024 i think uh, for 2025 it's ongoing so you can go to any prior years you can look at the view survey results or you can download the data and you can just go to get data and uh, since it's a text to csv we can use that option that connector text csv this is a file there are two files but we'll pick the first one the survey results public csv it's a pretty large file so it takes a while for it for it to be loaded into power bi desktop this is the navigator so we have those options load transform cancel but we'll try to transform the data so that we'll go into power bi uh, power query editor window so here we are in power query editor window so in case if needed we can always make all those changes right so based on our needs we can do all the transformation so quickly what we could do is we can go to a um, few columns and as you can see there are 114 columns there so we can quickly go to some columns and see what could be done right so we can split the column we can extract whatever strings which we want and as such right as you can see so those things can be done. You can split columns and as such. So for now, we are not going to do any of those things. So we'll just, we are just going to keep it simple. So we wanted to handle the real world data. So we can just close and apply. We're not doing any transformations. Once we do that, we are in Power BI desktop. So it takes a little bit time for it to be loaded into the model. So we will try to replicate those visuals. That is the whole idea. So I would like to keep all the measures separately. Uh, so I will create a separate table for it as shown here. And once you do that, we have a separate uh, table. Let us try to create a few measures. So uh, the first measure will be, we want to count the number of coders. So we can use the count rows function. IntelliSense will give you all those options. So let us try to use the count rows. We'll pass the table here, close the parentheses and uh, commit to it and uh, format it for the thousand separators so your first measure is ready it's pretty easy right so it's i mean uh, the only idea is we just wanted to use a real world data set and uh, tackle any kind of uh, research questions so we have used minimum dax code and uh, we have looked at one visual uh, page uh, website and we have created those five visuals so it's pretty easy uh, for us to understand and uh, this is one of the ways one could learn more uh, concepts so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video